following program on Ave Verna 24 is classified for general audience. It is intended for all ages. It contains little or no violence, no strong language, and little or no sexual dialogue or situations. The following program contains opinions of the participants and does not reflect the views and beliefs of the Verna Media Network. The network believes in a safe space for all ideas to be expressed without any censorship and on its duty to create such a platform for free speech. Viewer discretion is strictly advised. A very good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Get Real, where we uh, talk to notable newsmakers here at home and abroad in order to give you a different take on what's happening here in this country, certain subject matters we want to bring into your attention. And just as you saw uh, prior to this program, we wanted to come up and start this this particular awareness um, of our society. It's it's very um, sad to talk about this because we, we seem to be saying that we are a country uh, with value culture, heritage, all that, and especially religion has a very uh, uh, special meaning in our lives. And here we are uh, molesting a lot of children in our country, which is not okay. Uh, it needs to stop. We really need to take uh, uh, action in order to make that uh, you know, we have to end it in our generation. We can't continue and keep abusing our children. The statistics are really uh, staggering and, 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 you know, can't even wrap your mind around it. That's how bad it is. In September alone, over 150. That cannot happen in this country, uh, which is very bad. We are molesting our kids. Uh, there are so much of cases. We need to talk about this, despite the fact that it is very hard to talk about. Uh, here with me tonight is uh, uh, Mrs. Geeta Kumar Singh, uh, who is a member of parliament and also the State Minister of Women, uh, Child Affairs and Social Empowerment. Uh, you are a well-known character in the country. Uh, you are a very famous uh, movie star here. and But tonight you are... You have a very different uh, role to play here, being the State Minister of Child and Women Affairs, uh, which is quite different uh, from what you are used to. But uh, it's glad to see that you're using your fame in order to address these issues, and it, it is really uh, required, madam. Why is this happening in our country? Uh, over 168 cases in September alone, child abusers, child rape, how come uh, this country, a country that is supposed to be so much of, you know, cultural value and all this, this is occurring in our nation right now? Right. <clears throat> I will reply. I will uh, say uh, my, my uh, ideas later. First of all, I want to tell you, as you said, this is a different role. Exactly. Uh, being an actress, uh, being the cinema world, that is totally, you would think, different world. But we were acting different kind of roles, taking part. You know, acting even, you know, sometime I have acted in a poor, uh, very, very tough, different kind of roles. So, for the last 14 years, that's a long time. Because yeah. From my life, I have given 14 years to politics. And I'm Today, I'm very happy in one way to handle this kind of ministry because this is uh, more than half of our population. I think women, when you take more than 32% uh, women are living in Sri Lanka and children. This is a very touchy thing, you know, when you think about women, children, and you made the issue about abusing children, ill-treating. Uh, it's a kind of miserable situation. Yeah, it is. How can you allow someone to uh, abuse a child? They are, are they mentally? I think they are mentally ill. Otherwise, uh, no, no normal person can can't do that. But there is, there are so many issues. As you said, within a month, 
168 children and out all under them, 16 years under 6 because children are we in our law they say under 18 children but 16 is the limit for sexual activities with girl cons girls sometimes girls like and with their lovers they can't even that till 16 they can't use the child girl that is illegal so sometime uh, with that also sometime the girls get pregnant and they have, they have to wait till 18 to get married isn't that very yeah, funny yeah 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 they can have sex but when they want to get married they have to wait till 18 meantime some children get pregnant meantime they they don't know what to do for their child so they are they sometimes they feel they don't want that child Ma- madam uh, this trend started recently isn't it or is it has uh, it has been occurring for quite some time but it was not reported was that the case or we see a, a, a high number of cases coming out right now why do you think that is now when you take uh, there are gangri when we were we can very rarely only you can hear about this gang rape in sri lanka and uh, more than one person it's gang rape and uh, serious sexually abusing some children uh, so under 18 is you know 17 year old girl or or that specially that recently there was a big huge case i was behind that and i was calling the police and the villagers everything i did about the inside the bus yeah two bus workers slowly took the bus to a side somewhere where people can't see kept the child inside the bus and used her she's only 15 years and few months officials say that there was no rape in that particular case and there was no penetration that's what does uh, and uh, police officials are saying but what is the wrong thing that occurred there because if you are saying under 18 no way even with consent is that no, the under under 16 special after 16 you can have sexual in the eyes of the law yeah eyes of the law uh, but she's only 15 years and few months actually there is something that would have have been happened and don't know whether now they want to cover it up mm-hmm. now they don't want to go. most of sri lanka you ask me those days also we had lot of issues now just take like this in a rural area a woman going to pluck some wood or something like that to a jungle that's a very simple case they say dragging her to a, somewhere and raping her without her concern and she will suddenly will pregnant young person illegitimate child she will give to the world but to to this is so many people doesn't want to go to the police station even why is that i think they are ashamed i think they are scared first they want to cover up that then they will try to abort that child illegally that's <coughs> threatening to their life that's even illegal so many things even that in society uh, <clears throat> i think mainly sri lankan society the way they think about humans we have to stop you have to think a woman can be a single mother if she want she will be a single parent nicely bringing up their child looking after breastfeeding all kind of things i would support her not Uh, ill treating they will what they will say ah she is not married so the society will think ah that's she is not the a taboo. good woman that's a bad woman but no that's the mom womanhood she has all the rights and uh, if we look at the numbers uh, madam right now uh, we hear that apparently um, i think uh, grave sexual abuse around 273 in 2023 mm-hmm. alone mm-hmm. uh sexual exploitation around 6 guys rape of 39 cases and also there is this uh, other fact that is coming uh, 
uh, what do you call obscene publications, which is now uh, booming because of the internet and uh, online social media activities. Now, what is the government doing in order to curb this? Because we know the problem exists. We know our children are getting raped in our society. Now, the government needs to come in and step in. It falls directly un under your ministry and, and, and the government's purview. What exactly is the government doing in order to address this? Now, when you think, actually, those days, each and every child didn't have a telephone. But what happened during the pandemic, corona time, yeah. parents have to buy a telephone for the child. They all have had have started working uh, online. They are, they can't go to school, so they were using the online telephones. You know, most of the that is obvious. Children are very curious, and you know they want to see the other world. Yeah. So you can't stop that. If they have a telephone, even you and me, we just we would like to see all the all the things. So they have seen. And then they came to know there is there are a lot of other issues. So like that, mentally, uh, children are, you can't say adva advance also with the knowledge. On the other hand, some are, uh, I think, going to the wrong side. Uh, the government, we should we have asked the police, we have all the police station, child and women affairs, security, for that police people. And all the GA officers, we have another office. So anybody who has affected, they can come quickly to these places and uh, take. we can take action. But it's not enough, I feel. Why is it not enough? Yeah, how? Whole Sri Lanka, the people have to think they have to make themselves correct they have to think you have a mother you have a sister you have a daughter you are a man you are not a pervert so you have to you have to uh, consider the whole society must make it uh, different but I, uh, I think it's uh, difficult in a way because so many people are used for drugs when they take drugs. I, I, I want to, uh, because that's a different, yeah, absolutely yeah. a different subject which we need to dive deep uh, later on in the program. Now, one of the things that I want to understand is like with, you know, social media, with, uh, uh, you know, the new technology coming in, we, we see in other countries, uh, in, in Western countries, that they put blocks. Yeah. Okay. Japan. Uh, yes, Japan, the United States. I think even in India, Ch children under 18 who has a, a, a phone or can be monitored. They should be monitored. There is a, a, a net nanny or exactly. something like that. Yeah. And then they use those kinds of software. Why is that not being promoted here in Sri Lanka? We are going to promote that. Actually, uh, our ministry is under uh, His Excellency, the President, Anil Vikramasinghe. Uh, we have given a proposal for him very soon. I think we have been, when a child, uh, I think uh, under 18, when they take, they have to block this kind of thing. That, uh, because the parents also doesn't know how to do those. Yeah. Things. Sellers should do. Sellers. The, when, when you sell, a, um, I think, and when you take a pin number and all these things from a different uh, telecom and, and all the other places, they have to block and give. They have to do that. When is that uh, going to Very be? soon, I, we have given the proposal to the uh, Honorable uh, President. Uh, and soon we are going to, there are a couple of things, you know, to draft and when you put a bill, they take more than five, six months. Exactly. You know, they have to draft and they have to um, uh, do a lot of things. The legal department, then they said we have to translate to three languages. Each language they take about five, six months. I don't know. Uh, Minister, the other thing is education. Because when we look at these incidents, um, most of the ch children are still going to school. 
but in school sexual education itself is being taught as a taboo subject so still it's not exactly you know openly discussed in the family structure in uh, the society in in uh, um, what do you call it? in schools because they think if you talk about sex it's bad mm. yeah so but because of that the child doesn't have the knowledge to understand oh i this is rape this is assault this is abuse that kind of education is not being put into our syllabuses is that uh, an area that the government should shouldn't the government be looking at that right yeah. now we have to give we must give sexual education for children as you said in so many private buses so so many children they don't know they are getting abused they touch they feel yeah. them they may use them but they don't know they think it's just this life that uncle or also grandpa whatever he they like me but they don't know without even in schools some of the what recently i read somewhere about one tuition master has used for 16 children like that so they should know they should know exactly this is your when somebody is doing this this is illegal this is bad for you the children should know that we have to do it in a uh, uh, in schools they have to teach why is it not been done yet uh, i think so many time there was certain issues came and sometimes some people went against how can you they know, go against you can't this? make everybody happy when a society is happy all sri lanka is happy they have to take the decision i think um, uh, this also very soon we have to ask from the educational minister Mr. Honorable Sushil Premijayanth, he's a very nice person. He listen. Uh, he help us for our preschools, a uh, pre-education, also. So this is uh, a subject. But as you said, we also must talk. Yeah. I have all the rights. I'm nothing to do with the educational ministry, but their children. Listen, under 18, most of the children are schooling. so this is under educational ministry so we have to have a conversation with them we have to stop that without uh, sexual education and and another thing also like this now hygiene when a woman have to uh, work with the sanitary wears these things i i took us stock can went to a very rural area they were feeling like embarrassed yeah yeah scared shy i said nothing to do nothing to be shy very normal thing but you have to use this we we took a doctor to explain these children how and this and, and because you know why i can remember my childhood also yeah when i was a, when i got a ten you know they quickly put me into a True. Corner in a corner in a place behind the almara, put a little um, sheet and all these things. You wait now, and actually that's a very scary situation. And every well, and most of the other countries nowadays they don't take yeah, like that. Yeah. So actually, must mustn't not make big issues out of this. So, in in terms of students, if every child. is uh, who's under uh, uh, 18 years is you know still schooling and then they are going to school and those institutions are the ones yeah. that are function shouldn't we be going and looking at um you know opening a counseling uh, office in the schools uh, or doing certain counseling work in that area especially in girls schools right. um trying to you know understand because certain uh, mentality of these uh, students change once they get abused yeah, yeah. Uh, they are not the same way that they are uh, uh, before suddenly bubbly person becomes very mm. you know scared and goes into a corner to identify those kinds of cases and try to uh, bring them into the foray and try to talk about it why isn't the education ministry is taking a, a directive or even your ministry is taking the directive to go in that direction and to make sure that there are counselors who can help students yeah, yeah. 
Now listen, when there is a case, abused, the police come, he is a victim, this one uh, taken, maybe he will go to jail. But nobody thinks about the, the child. child. Child is, she, uh, have got all kind of insults everywhere. Even she's going to courts mean for harassment. Mentally she's ruined. She can't face for a good marriage. She can't face for a good life in her uh, time. So these things, when you think, she need uh, some Counseling. Mental counselling. Not only counselling. Actually, you can't, these children, you can't keep away from the society. society yeah. They have to be in the same class. This is uh, some stupidity, some uh, ignorant <coughs> person has that. But mustn't take this for your whole life to be ruined. <coughs> Still in Sri Lanka, virginity and marriage and kind of things are there, no? So most of children are scared of that. Indeed, uh, a lot more to talk about uh, this uh, <coughs> matter uh, with the State Minister of Women, uh, Child Affairs and Social Empowerment, uh, Mrs. Geetha Kumar Singha. Uh, we will take a short commercial break. Uh, this is Get Real Over. to get real the state minister of women uh, child affairs and social empowerment Gita Kumar Singh is here we've been talking about a very uh, cancerous matter in our society which we really need to do uh, a lot of work um, in order to get rid of this uh, if you all can remember a couple of years back even last year even this year uh, when there was a high number of uh, dengue cases all the media institutions came together they had campaigns all around the country in order to clean up our entire uh, uh, environment so that we can live a very free and a uh, 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 sick free life what about this our children are getting abused on 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 unimaginable level why isn't all of us are coming and doing a national campaign and try to push to make sure that this doesn't happen perpetrators are identified they are punished why isn't that system not occurring? Why can't Sri Lanka, this small island, be an example to the rest of the world? Uh, this is a good opportunity. Minister, the laws seems to be very dicey. It's not strong enough. Uh, for a simple example, during the break we were discussing, uh, in uh, abroad, if by any chance, if you are a sexual uh, accused even, you are sent into a system, you have been, uh, you know, they monitor you, police is always around your house to make sure that you don't do it again. But here our sexual offenders goes to a court, get uh, a bail, bail and back, back home. Back home for the second incident will happen soon. And because uh, actually they, they are ba bailing out like a normal, simple thing. But uh, there are so many other issues, you know, this kind of people, even uh, papers, television also must help. Yeah, yeah. This kind of people, you have to condemn, you have to make them shamed and they can't live in uh, their proper life. So, uh, everybody has to get together because these are mentally retarded people, they have some illness, some of them, they are ill, they will go again or some medical, uh, they have to give medical uh, help, guidance, yes. so many things, actually uh, so many uh, issues, so those days when there is a thing like that, society will take action, yeah. they will say this man is a person like that. He has done this kind of thing. You can't allow him to go to girls' school. 
you can't be out with your own children no you can't you can't when you are married also the family their children also will be affected you know one fine day when they have a daughter that daughter when uh, they want to get married the father is a child abused man so can't uh, so why isn't the laws are in power with it uh, why are we so slow actually here? laws are very very poor in this case give him bail and the other thing is immediately uh, sometimes some things are working some they quickly get uh, arrested and then go to courts proving this kind of thing in the courts is very difficult that's why i was begging and telling put cctv cameras in public transport schools public lavatory around outside even there are so many stations there are where they you think this kind of thing can happen actually this is not very costly from china or somewhere you can get down there are plenty of ngos who would like to help I help that? for this put all over especially buses especially in the buses trains then then you can prove so and such and such a rate i traveled in the same bus this incident happened somebody was touching me badly without a tv or some proof how can you prove that you can go to courts and say give evidence but in sri lanka doesn't be, it doesn't mean anything it looks like we are we are so backward in in addressing yes. this and 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 uh, making sure that we don't uh, uh you know strengthen the laws where is the what is the bottleneck where Actually, is it getting that stuck the, they say that everybody you know we, we believe that uh, the parliament is to uh, law makers we have to make law so to take the women and child affairs woman uh, having a child when you maintenance when you go to the divorce cases when you get uh, in the house uh, domestic violence very badly very brutally they get hammered in the middle of the night when a man drunk can come home and killing without killing that giving her harassment in the night they run to the jungle somewhere that's how that we have started putting up a, every district a home to keep them and children also we have special homes and all the uh, hospitals i was asking from the uh, health ministry to have a small place for us uh, we call it even kaulu a kaulu mean window if you don't want your child but don't harm him don't put here and there don't put in the temple don't put in the church don't put in the river bank please bring us we will keep we will not go to any legally uh, harassment or legal, legal you do know, but only thing we want to have uh, his birth certificate to do because otherwise very unfair by the child yeah. one day when the child is big she should he so what you're it. saying the government will take care of the child yeah we have houses we have uh, now uh, i don't know how many we have made already 36 or something we have houses uh, all over the all over the shelter country. for the women they can stay sometime they get a um, sudden pro- upset you know with the husband fighting but most of the sri lankan women they li- they don't like to break their marriage so easily so they, we are also happy so we get the counseling and we are helping them to make their marriage straight away so they go to go back goes back to the house doesn't matter but legal help we need legally not much of a help we get why is that madam because after all you're still a, a parliamentarian you yeah. sit sit in the parliament and if we look at it we always hear from our uh, uh, from the president to every single politician who says children is our future they are the ones who we need to take care of it but when we look at the laws and everything nothing is coming even close to solving the issue uh, from from a point of a, a, a 
a student, it looks like, you know, it's better to keep my mouth shut rather than to tell about this because if I say this, I'm going through this entire process and not just for one year, two year, like 20 years, 30 years, these cases are getting dragged on and on and on. Why is it so slow? Even in the courts, there are so many court cases. Maybe they will take another 20 years to finish that. One girl came to my ministry and said, I had a problem, abused, raped when I was 12. Now I'm 22. Still my court case is going on. I'm going to get married soon. And I want to have a good marriage life. I don't want to uh, want my husband to be embarrassed with this. Please, can you take out this? And most of the court cases, people go one or two days to the courts. They can't spend day-to-day -day working papers and can they give up their work and go to the courts with the child? No. We have to, government should help. Legal help plus for them to come to courts and encouraging them. We are, you, have, you have all the rights. You have to stop this in the society. So you are one of the person who can fight. Don't give up. But poverty, money problem. So many people have money. Why is the government helping? No, that now we, are, we have given these proposals. Actually, in Sri Lanka uh, parliament, state minister can't put a bill. You have to go to the minister. I'm lucky enough. I have a very good, uh, my cabinet minister is president. He is so much. He likes to listen. He likes to do a lot of work. He, if I it announced, but legally to translate this, to go to the legal officers and uh, different language, we had to do so many things. There are th one or two bills. Now nearly I'm struggling six months. Last, last time when I met my uh, office, uh, people who are handling that, I said, I don't think you will ever do this. What is that uh, bill about? Uh, there are two things. I think um, one is um, pay gap, gender pay gap. Man and a woman are treating yeah. in a different way. And uh, equality, about equality uh, everywhere. So the, all the rights that uh, these are very important yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. Because though it's one or two words we can use and tell, but it's a long story. Long story. There are big, big, big issues are there involved with this. In terms of changing the landscape, the politician seems to have, you know, passed the buck or passed the ball to someone else. Everybody says this to that, to this to that. But the women, the children, they're the ones who are in the middle of this and not getting any kind of assistance or support. How can we address this, madam? Because this it, has to be addressed, it right? Yes, it is. It's absolutely true what you are talking about. <clears throat> Economically, even if a country is down, or socially, like this when there's issues, mainly women are the person terribly suffering with that. We all have to take that. But uh, in that case, but on the other hand, men also, there are some cases. Some men, some are telling, so my wife left me, he, she went abroad, leaving me with five children, how am I going to work? And there are issues like that. But mainly women, women is suffering a lot. Economically, when, when you think a country, a rich country, difference, I think I know, I know, being in Switzerland so many yeah. years and, you know, it's a different, different society altogether. It's different mentality. Mentality, because if equally they get money, everybody is rich, everybody can afford, so everybody is thinking the same way. So it is different. But we also must somehow or other try to cover up with this thing, try to bring the society uh, in a different form. Indeed, uh, a lot uh, 
more needs to be done uh, in order to address this and we have to actually get it right if not we we fail as a society uh, we really need to understand that let's take a short commercial break i'm in conversation with uh, the state minister of women child affairs and social empowerment geeta kumar singh <laughs> to get real uh, state minister of women child affairs and social empowerment geeta kumar singh is here uh, we've been discussing about a lot of issues in terms of it looks like there are no solutions but a lot of issues uh, in order to get this uh, uh, track uh, this uh, back on track uh, another thing that you touched more about and which i want to explore is the fact that this economic factor because when there is poverty obviously a child whether he she he or she is at 13 14 15 16 ye- years old and they get to understand through social media through uh, online uh, platforms i can actually gain some money they go and basically engage in that because it looks like you know i rather you know sell myself and get money than to be hungry or to go through the poverty that i'm going through now this is a, another problem the uh, the bad side of being a, in a country where so the economy is really down. bad so what can we do madam uh, uh, right now economically we are still lagging it's come into a position but the 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 tier underneath the 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 you know the very um, you know small and medium those people they are the ones who are getting affected how can we address that especially children exactly pregnant women two things we did i want to mention here actually we gave morning meal for the preschool children not because of anything health is wealth whatever the problem we have with great difficulties we gave more than 100000 children we fed morning nourishment food and the other hand uh, low income women when they are pregnant we gave nearly uh, 45000 i think all together five uh, four months before the preg- uh, a uh, delivery after baby comes 5 months that's helped a lot i believe ek whatever the economically time but this women and children we have to help because they ca- pregnant woman must have a proper meal then only she can have proper child uh, sometimes the children are premature some are underweight so that will directly go slowly for the malnutrition when they are 2 3 years later then you will find the children are malnutrition everybody is talking about malnutrition nobody can see from your eyes whether they are malnutrition only the uh, moh the midwives when they uh, go to house door to door they find the with they take the weight and the height of the child and they find their Uh, not enough uh, grown up they are towards the malnutrition so that's why we started giving this morning meal for this child children and the pregnant women we looked after uh, this is a lot because 28 days for the preschool children we have to give uh, 28 days and uh, some classes they have 30 40 children and all together when you take Uh, the children are a lot a lot of more than 500000 children are there but some they can afford but we can't categorize also it is so difficult in the same class you can't say you can have a good meal they are yeah, yeah. we have to give everybody so that's a hell of a big uh, issue and somehow or other we have to do that without doing that we can't have our future children healthy Uh, health education all these 
at the society, family. I, I can't believe sometimes because so much of religious people are living in Sri Lanka. But you know, the the parents also sometimes because of the poverty, as you said, they will without being starving, they will steal some. But these things will give a very bad yeah. mm, future for them, for the child also. What do you think? Uh it looks like the future is bleak uh, if the economic situation is not sorted out. Looks like again the children and the women are the ones who are going to get hammered uh, once again. Uh, looks like the government is also not in a position to keep helping. Uh, but what exactly do you think and who should rally around if not the government? The government should. Government have all the rights. Government should. But you must think, you know, we are very carefully we are controlling this. We were nearly bankrupt. We were condemned economically in Sri Lanka. But very, very tiny bit we had and now we are with the loans, uh, whatever it is, the president and everybody was together working and now we are holding this very, very carefully. Otherwise, we will be like uh, some other countries we know. So many years without taking the loan, they were suffering and the whole country was collapsed. They are finished. But still this country somehow the managing these things. So I think future will be uh, to have a brighter uh, future, sake of our people. Uh, we have to think and we have to consider uh, shouting at the government also, you can't achieve anything. Some people say we want 20,000, we want that thousand, this thousand. Even we, we, are, we, are, we are very carefully using, I think, these things. Very difficult. But still we are not bankrupt. Indeed, uh, I wish I had more time to uh, continue this discussion, but we will certainly uh, continue the whole uh, theme about uh, child abuse and, and, and the issues pertaining to that uh, here at Adadarana because we really want to bring some awareness into this particular matter and give you, uh, you a, a different take on that as well and try to get you the, uh, the side of the story that is not being told. So um, uh, make sure that you continue to watch on the 24 that we will bring uh, that to you. Uh, Minister of, uh, State Minister of Women, Child Affairs and Social Empowerment, Geeta Kumar Singh. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very it's much for coming. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you, you so much. Thank you. Thank uh, you well, much. that's all the time we have for you tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, State of the Nation is not on uh, this week, but we will be back again um, somewhere around in December and we will keep you informed. So I'll see you back again uh, here on Tuesday on another episode of Get Real. See you then. Bye for now.